This is an alternative ending to the train animation tutorial. Instead of using the animate path button, I'm going to animate the train using keyframes, which is a longer but more flexible method. To animate the train, first select the Bezier curve, click its object data properties and scroll down. We're not going to set up keyframes on the train's location. We're going to keyframe how far the train has traveled around the curve, the evaluation time. I'm going to set up two keyframes. My rhyme for setting up a keyframe is go to frame, make change, insert keyframe. To set up the first keyframe, go to frame one, I'm in frame one, Make change, set the evaluation time to zero, it's already zero. Insert keyframe, right click, insert keyframe. To set up the second keyframe, go to frame, go to frame 250. Make change, set the evaluation time to 100, 100% completion of the curve. Insert keyframe, right click, insert keyframe. Now when we press play, the train travels around the curve, it accelerates at the start and it decelerates at the end. If you want the train to travel at a constant speed, change the window to a graph editor. In the key menu, change the interpolation mode to linear and change the window back to 3D view. Zoom back with the mouse wheel and drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. The train is too low. The train is following the curve. So if I go to the object properties of the curve and increase its Z value to two, that will raise the train up. Select the ground, click the modifiers button and apply the array modifier and the curve modifier. Select the track and do the same. Select the engine, duplicate, shift D and enter. Click the constraints button and set the offset for the duplicate to two. We now have an engine and a truck. I want the train to start on the straight. So select the engine and set its offset to minus 15. Select the truck and set its offset to minus 13. Making sure the cursor is in the 3D view window, duplicate, shift D and enter and set the offset of the duplicate to minus 11 and enter. Duplicate again, shift D and enter and set the offset of the duplicate to minus nine and enter. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the finished file for you to download at my website, a link to which can be found in the description below or by clicking the little i in the top right hand corner. There's also a link there for the next part of the tutorial. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, click the stickman. Thanks for watching and goodbye.